We have some important health information to pass along about a deadly virus in our area. And no, we are not talking about COVID-19 this time. Yeah, this time it's Eastern Equine Encephalitis, which is carried by mosquitoes, and now it's shown up in Pasco County. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser shows you what that means for you and your family, no matter where you live in Tampa Bay. It is a, a very real concern. A warning from the Florida Department of Health and Pasco Mosquito Control. Eastern Equine Encephalitis, a potentially deadly virus spread by mosquitoes, is around every year, but this year? We have increased activity in our early warning monitor system. The virus has shown up in a group of the county's sentinel chickens, whose blood is tested regularly as a living alert system. The latest results were alarming. Over 50% of the birds in that flock um, have shown positive um, blood samples for Eastern equine encephalitis virus. Mosquitoes usually get Eastern equine encephalitis from birds, then pass it to humans and other animals. Severe cases are rare, just over a dozen spanning a decade in Florida, but if contracted, it can cause brain issues deadly more than 30% of the time. Yeah, that's a big worry. <laughs> we'll definitely be more cautious, I think. Our recent dry weather isn't helping. Less rain pushes mosquitoes and birds looking for water together, eventually into neighborhoods with people. Drought conditions really create sort of the, the perfect storm. Health workers advise wearing shoes, socks, long pants, and sleeves. Use EPA-approved repellents with DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus and help reduce mosquito breeding grounds around your own home by draining standing water from garbage cans, flower pots, and other containers. Those sentinel chickens that exhibited eastern equine encephalitis were mostly located in the southern part of Pasco County. So mosquito control workers say it's safe to assume that it could be in surrounding counties throughout Tampa Bay. Yes, the, the entire area um, should do what they can. Definitely not stopping us from going to the park or going outside, but it should be a concern. Yeah, it shouldn't stop you from doing that. You no. just need to make sure that you're prepared for of it. Of course, and as Eric pointed out, 13 cases in almost a decade. So mm -hmm. we're not trying to scare you here. Just right. obviously keep this in mind when you go out. Mosquito control workers say that these biting insects obviously are at their worst around dusk and mm -hmm. dawn. So those are the times you want to have that spray just to make sure you're covered. You can always use a pesticide to keep bugs out. But if you are looking for something more natural, some plants are actually known to keep the bugs away. There are just some options, and a lot of them are herbs or flowers that do repel bugs because of their smell, but just make sure that if they're in a holder, they don't collect water or it will defeat the whole purpose of the plant.